Hey, it's Chris Anime here, and today we're going to do a gameplay video, but a gameplay video with a twist, because I'm going to talk through it. I don't know how annoying this is going to be, or how well received it's going to be. Please leave your comments in the section below. Okay, a few things I'm going to talk about this... Um, blah, 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 put my teeth back in. A few things that I'm going to talk about first uh, to do with this game. I remember this game quite fondly from my youth. My grandparents had a ColecoVision, uh, and this is one of the games that they had for it. And I remember spending many an hour uh, playing this game. I believe it was the first sort of Pac-Man-style maze collect thing game that I'd ever played. I remember there was quite a lot to do with the gates. Uh, the, the maze has got these gates that to correspond to keys on the keypad. I believe it was key 1 activated the red gates, key 2 activated the yellow gates, and key 3 activated the blue gates. You could also collect bone power-ups uh, that allowed you to turn into a dog. I believe that was key 5. I'm going off my memory here. It's been a good probably 10 years since I last played this game. So I might be a bit rusty. There might be a few mistakes. It's only a gameplay. I'm only showing you guys what it's actually like to play it. So it's not a playthrough, a, a long play or anything like that. It's just me showing you guys how this game actually plays. So with that in mind, let's uh, go ahead and jump into skill setting 2. And one player. And that music. Oh, listen to that music. Straight away, nostalgia kicks in. I remember that music well. It's quite catchy as well to say it's only a couple of beats. Ooh, three. There we go. So that's what we're talking about with the gates. You could use the gates to basically uh, bypass bits of the maze. So if you've got a cat in the way, you could probably get through a gate like that. Now let's change it to a dog. Let's just try and get rid of some of these cats. I love that sound. Wow! Woof woof. Let's you know that you've taken out a cat. Oh, it's stuck. It's stuck. Oh, now I hit the bird. I remember now that bird is rather annoying. Uh, okay. Let's just go for a maze completion instead of pretting around. Pick up them bonus points. Pick up them bonus points. Turn into a dog. Take that cat out. Let's cut through there. Take that cat out. Take that one out as well. Nice bonus there. And last one. Okay. Now, the mazes don't change between levels. It's not as if you get three levels in and then the maze changes into a new design. It's the same maze all the way through. I never played the arcade game, so I couldn't tell you if it does in the arcade game. I've only ever played the ColecoVision. Which is a shame, I should get around to actually uh, playing the arcade version at some point. I'm sure it's probably a, a rather good game if the uh, ColecoVision's anything to go by. Because the ColecoVision was home to quite a few great arcade conversions at the time. As much as I like the Atari 2600, a lot of the conversions were pap. Uh, it just didn't have the graphics capabilities at the time to actually pull off a good arcade conversion. Where the ColecoVision did. And obviously this is a PAL uh, ColecoVision that I'm emulating. Oh, bonus mouse. So, it will be sl anybody that's played this on an American system will obviously notice that it is slower. Uh, but that is because it is a PAL system. And we got shafted. Okay, so you can only get have five bones in your inven inventory at any one time. Sorry, I've been having a swifty drink of my homebrew. It's not strong stuff, but it certainly does the trick. And turn into a dog, we'll take that cat out. And I might as well get that one while I'm at it. Take that bone as well. We'll flip through there. Ooh, that bird's getting in the way. That 
bird needs to disappear. There we go. You can't take the birds out, I remember that. The birds are essentially a kill anything and everything scenario. I just find the music really catchy in this game. Go in and swipe that into a dog. As you noticed, um, it is certainly getting quicker now is the game. And I believe the amount of time that you actually get to spend as a dog goes down as well, uh, the later in the levels you get. Oof, nearly. I think the collision detection was a bit dodgy then, otherwise I'd have been dead. I think the, a couple of pixels did actually hit my character, so... I'm oh, quite lucky that it never actually registered that. Turn into a dog. There we go. Bonus mouse! And the music changes again. And this is where the game really gets interesting because every level now is just going to be like twice as quick as the last. So I'm going to try and not change the maze round too much if I can help it. Unless it's a beneficial... Oh shit. Try again. Unless it's a beneficial thing, like I can get a shortcut out of it without uh, killing myself like I didn't do that time. Five. Let's change it to dog. I like that as well, it carries over the um, the dog power up from the last level. Five! Oh, that's because I'm pressing four. Change it to a dog inside. Four popping around. Three, three, two, two. I'm stuck. There we go. going to be a bit more quieter now. I'm really having to concentrate. There's so much stuff happening at the same time and I need to be aware of where them cats are. to be aware of what's coming up around you, especially with that uh, that bird or hawk around. Can I get that bonus? There we go.
And don't forget, this is only skill setting two. Ah, oh, that's because I was concentrating on changing that gate. This is only skill setting two. Um, I should have to think what the other skill settings are actually like. <laughs> Press five in time. Last mouse. Up, up, two, two. Oh no! What did I press? Three. There we go. Bonus mouse. There we go. Oh, what did it do? Must have swapped out of being a dog at the last second. Five. There we go. Ah! Oh. Game over. So that was Mousetrap for the ColecoVision, a really entertaining game and I really recommend people actually uh, go out and uh, even if they just download the ROM, uh, I, I actually own a copy of this because I've got my grandparents' ColecoVision so I actually own this properly but uh, even if you don't own a ColecoVision because they are difficult to get hold of these days, especially a working one, um, you know... This is one of the one one of the uh, occasions where I'd say go get an emulator and download this uh, because you really do need to play it. It is really entertaining and really challenging, especially in the later on levels. Uh, just I couldn't believe how quick it actually gets, and it needs split second uh, timing to change into that dog because as you saw a couple of times towards the end, just because I didn't hit five in time straight away, bang dead. And that hawk, there is no way of killing that hawk at all. Even if you're in dog form, you can't kill it. So that's been, like I said, Mousetrap for the ColecoVision. This has been Crit Anime. If you've got any comments or suggestions, then please leave them in the suggestion box below. Um, if you've got any recommendations for any other games that you want me to play, uh, again, leave them in the recommendation slot. Recommendation slot? The comment section below. Where did the recommendation slot come from? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, this has been Critanet May, and good night.